I hope that the county and the judge uh, pursue the harshest penalties possible uh, on this driver. Um, there has to be accountability when you wantonly risk and take life um, doing your job. It's been one week since a Hasey ISD school bus carrying 44 pre-K Tom Green Elementary School students was hit by a concrete pump truck on State Highway 21. The crash left five-year-old Ulises Rodriguez Montoya and 33-year-old Ryan Wallace dead. Video released by Hasey ISD Thursday shows the truck veering into the bus's lane, leaving people horrified and wondering whether the driver fell asleep at the wheel or was under the influence of something. It's disturbing, it's it's reckless, it's selfish. So and now we never get to find out what the best lives were for these two folks. Uh, they're no longer with us. Search warrant affidavits also revealed 42-year-old Jerry Hernandez admitted to police he was sleep deprived and also used cocaine the morning of the crash. We caught up with Hayes County Judge Ruben Becerra at an Easter event Friday to get his reaction. How horrible for anyone's actions to lead to this. It's most, most heartbreaking in any space. People we spoke to in Buda say they couldn't understand why Hernandez wasn't immediately charged. We asked Judge Becerra about that before Friday's announcement of charges against Hernandez. There are a lot of things in our judicial system as a whole that are very frustrating to folks. And so we just have to be patient and know that ju the judicial system has a cadence, a process in the system, and we must remain hopeful and patient that everything is being done uh, with the most uh, utmost care. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.